We go over now to our casters. Lifestar is going to get somewhat denied. Um, and also, I think this lineup also sh shows uh, the strength of Trian as a support hero. Like, he can play a lot of that rooming game. Bottom lane looks like Enigma might be giving up that first blood. And yes, looks like Q will be picking up. Although he might die on the way back here. Eidolons, give him that right click. That does have yeah. the Tango regen. Looks like he should oh. be okay in Mabokta. They get the crush off. He has the flame guard active, but OP's going to move that. No rune available. And fought in a lot of danger. He'll get the living armor, but still the overload actually missing uphill. Could be the savior along with these chains. Fada's able to make it away, but the skewer comes in. XX as uh, to move. He wants to head top. He wants to make it go in Envy. Envy could be in a lot of trouble with Bubaka coming in. Gets off the crush. However, the axes are there, but Storm, I don't believe affected by them, continues to ball forward. Actually, maybe the blind oh, did hit him. him. Envy getting the RNG, but the crush, that can't miss. And Envy in lots of trouble. Still has the living armor, but again, he goes down. The hits just keep on coming. IG. With the triple remnant against Life Slur, though, or you can easily just have all that damage wasted. But Q, now that's a much easier target. They are going to look to cage him here. The remnants come charging in, but Burning gets to work. He's going to turn this one into Pilot Die. Doesn't quite finish him off. So they lose the Disruptor. Big three hero rotation. Only netting a support, but they didn't use too many big ults there. Just the lasso. So the black hole available for what could be round two. In comes the Slardar, the Fishman, out for blood, and they're gonna find Fada. That's a pretty tasty treat if they can take him down, but he's got the Remnant just limping into the river. Still the chase from OP, no real help for Fada, trying to make it shrine. back to the safety of the shrine. shrine, and he will do so. The crush is there, but now the fight's gonna turn around the other way. Storm in danger, he's overextended. Bubaka to an NP with the big punish burning. Could be the third, no! The Infest Bomb joke, what a play by B God still though. I don't know if he bash, makes it out of this bash. one. One good bash from Envy will do him in. Burning will fall, and NP. It's well, not done yet. Not Envy. an ideal black hole, but they still make it a big fight in and their favor. Envy picked up a haster in the river. That's and why they're going to gonna continue chasing here. That disruptor in all kinds of trouble in the bottom lane. Will he be finished off? Envy wants him. E -E Soma out for blood. That'd and Disruptor, bomb, yeah. no TP. So he goes down here in a matter of seconds. Storm, though, might get the counter kill. It's been such a long chase by NP that back into the fray lunges OP. He'll find Pilot Die as a small consolation prize, but still NP overall. Pretty happy with that one. Best move. Oh. There, there is a hand of Midas on the Life Slayer, so. And they're going to find an opening here. That Troll Warlord caught out of position gets pulled back in into the waiting arms of a Disruptor ultimate. But do they have the firepower to secure, secure this kill? He's quite tanky. Envy will eventually go down. Now the three hero overgrowth. The triple remnant special comes in. They bring them down to about half HP. MSS from behind. They should get all three out of this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy NP. First RP, first successful RP. Oh, maybe. AUI again making the plays here. Breaking the smoke, getting back to safety in time. And then the drum is going to help ensure that uh, he won't be pursued any further. The now the, the backline step, but unfortunately, it's a really fortunate timing for a bash from Jackie. Mao. will he get the ball he needs? No, Envy's going to go down. So they lose the troll for this fight, though he did what he could. Static Storm dropped to top, and now they look for the Ember as well. This could be a huge takedown. Can they finish him off, though? Fada survives, and they look for the turn. Remnanting his way back into the fray. Another Remnant forward, but he does get crushed. He will get punished. Still burning on the run. OP2. They're going to shrine up and look to turn. Suddenly, NP are the ones who may have overextended. Burning thinking about a re-engage there. There's the pull, the follow-up damage from the amp. They've got the firepower. They'll bring down Mojo Storm. Started. Now they want Pi 2. He might just die in a moment, but gets up to the high ground. Firefly's still going. He'll survive. AUI looking for the fade, and he will right before the Corrosive Wave comes out. A uh, wild crush attempted. He might go for it. Oh, AUI. Uh, burning, I don't know about. Maybe if he armlet toggles at the wrong time. The ball's on this man. He wants <laughs> it to toggle already. He's not going to do oh, it. Oh, man. On that Aegis, especially with MSS lurking. With Envy, you never know whether he's alone or not, so. All right, well, they're going to continue the siege here. Jump in. Initiation from Fada. He's got the blade mail active as well. The Static Storm gets the point. Can they keep him locked down? Fada tries to make his way back towards safety. Slight of fisting. And then Remnant in his way out. He will escape for the time being. But OP says, no, come back here, sir. Come back here already. Fada with the dukes. Fada with the plays. Fada will survive. Fada, Fada, Fada. And now they look for more. The black hole's there. Big commitment. Burning. There are no gods today. Perhaps he go oh, can't even get the kill. Three will fall. Did you? 30 minutes to go. They are gonna find Envy. Envy though gets to work. He runs in. He would love for the sages to expire in the midst of the fight. That would be maximal value. Burning's gonna engage and cooperate. 20 seconds and counting. How much do they commit to killing off this troll? Apparently, perhaps a bit too much. Oh, Envy laid in with the bashers, completely demolishing the little dog. Life stealer down. He loses the Aegis at the worst possible time for IG right before it's about 
about to expire. Kavoka will also fall four down. It's NP all day as all of a sudden, maybe a 1k gold lead has become a 10k gold lead nearly. IG felt very pressured to take fight. They know black holes down. They know a lot of these abilities are, you know, still coming back up and Double check, good time for MP. And XSS could never actually get out the RP. They called GG. IG demolished. Wow. And <laughs> he's like, okay. You know, I was harping on, on this Batrider, perhaps not doing too much, but in that last fight, he isolated XSS, lasso on him, Firefly on him, never making that Blink Dagger actually coming out to play, so. Better put together. So I'm going to go NP. David, they need to make oh. up for it elsewhere, and they're trying for it on Burning, but these dire creeps are apparently turncoats. They seem to be playing more for the Radiant side. If anything, Bemesis says, I don't need their support. Finds the kill anyway. Like they really have any avenue to go on the offensive as of yet. I'm just going to make that journey down bottom. We'll start jungling a bit. Meanwhile, Brewmaster being pursued in the mid lane is OP. Looks for the dive on AUI, gets off the screen, commits the ult. See you later, buddy. Here comes the TP. We're gonna rotate the Dark Seer in. Should be close to the mag. I he is relatively close. They're gonna move in on Envy's Dusa. Vacuum him back, commit pretty heavily to this. Bavoka's still moving forward, but Pai is there, just waiting on the sidelines. They know he doesn't have the golem just yet. They won't quite kill off Envy, but they force another TP. Do they get punished on the way out? AUI is here. Bavoka on the run. Looks like Clock also trying to set something up in the mid lane. Tfana maybe baiting OP in. Chasing forward, going for those auto attacks, jumps up to the high ground. He does not have his ultimate just yet, and MSS is there, looking for the punish. The quad boat now available, will drill Fada, but pays the price, so a one-for-one one core trade. Medical assistance of XXS will keep him alive. MSS still sticking around. The rocket drop will be enough to bring down that pesky fish. And they even blew the Brewmaster off. They need to get two kills out of this fight, ideally. Still MSS surviving. Even with the glimpse back, XXS will commit and finally brings him down. Very tanky Darkseer. Now Fada joining the fray. Tries to run away. Can Fada bring him down? Remnant forward commits a lot. Gets caught with the crush under the tower. He's pretty low armor. Has to be careful, but actually it's the blade mail. That's going to help him out. Finally, Burning shows up. Late to the party. Ideal time to come in. They will We'll find the turnaround here. Two dead. Possibly looking at a third. No, AUI gonna make it away. Counter smoke. This could be big. Baboka looking for the opening, but it's high in position to break that smoke. So he gets revealed. Unfortunately, Envy on his own, but there is a good hole coming in. MSS looking to turn the heights. The quad bolt, not the best at all. Really only does damage to MSS and Envy getting pulled back in, but alive for now. Burning turned into stone by the gaze. Envy. Oh, that's an ugly snake, but it's doing the trick. Now the chase forward. Fada trying to bring Burning down. He will be successful. They removed the Sven from the fight. For now, the Darks here unable to contribute. Quap's got to blink away. A clear win for NP, and they might be able to grab two more core kills on the back of it. They throw that Quap up in the air. They'll take down XXS. And now, as he drops back down, it's into the cogs of MSS. Ready and waiting. OP won't make it out. NP, a full five man wipe. They're going to jump on Envy again. Well, last time this didn't work out too hot, but they also see Pylite die. Perhaps a slightly easier kill. The Static Storm deployed a zoning Static Storm, and that's really it. As Fada jumping forward onto the Disruptor, going to find the opening kill. And now it's Chaos for IG getting back back in. They turn the fight around with the Queen of Pain on. A decent crush from Boboka could secure this kill. AUI is going to drop. Envy, meanwhile, standing his ground, though, and they're going to lose Burning. It's then out of the picture. These trades are certainly not IG favored. As Fada, smelling blood in the water, is going to chase out that Darkseer. Goes for the chains. Won't have the right timing. NP though, still clearly the victor is on the case. Gets the chains, now the urn comes through. Gonna destroy that creep as a remnant forward. All but secures the kill, Baboka still running, and Fada slamming the door. Envy scurries in from the side. And another nice kill for NP. Yep. Good urn here by MSS. Has been paying dividends, uh, flopping the urn, making sure that the blink dagger will always be kept on cooldown, so no jukes into blinks. Oh, OP trying to debut his Orchid here, committing onto that Warlock, but he's quite tanky. Has to drop the ult. A Blink Scream forward will get the kill. Does he make it out? There's the Yules, and away he goes. So, hands aren't there from Fada. Roche down to a below half, and IG's hand maybe about to be forced. There is no split push for now. Fada could throw out that Remnant and engage, but first IG are going to make their move. Stone Gaze from Envy, trying to lock the Darkseer in position. If they can separate him from the rest of the team, the combo won't be there, but AUI walks right into the Meat Grinder. He tanks the Burning ult.
Quickly gonna drop, BKB committed, can they find that follow-up kill? They're gonna glitch back. Now, next, and potentially a very important kill, the Ember Spirit isolated, not dead yet though, Fada will fall. They drop the rock, and they look to follow up. Burning, deleted, Fada buying back and rejoining the fight immediately. They know this Aegis is crucial for the upcoming engagement. They wanna get a little bit more for their trouble. Good four set by XXS. They will disengage, so a two for two. With the pretty Queen of Pain revealed. They say, screw it, man. Let's just jump. XXS, first man in, gets the back, drops the wall. Where's the ball? The Burning Sun's there. They need a little bit more. Baboka coming in, looking for the crush. They've got good damage, but the Brew Split is going to prevent this follow. Baboka's got to run. Still Envy, full HP, surviving through it all. Pounding into OP, survives, looks forward. Double buyback. They've got to win. They need these kills, and they're just not getting them. Envy's still alive, standing through it all. Has the cheese if he needs it, pops it now, right back to full HP and continues to lay into IG. Their tournament dreams in jeopardy. Storming forward onto Burning. Burning hardly hitting anything this game. Also having to deal with that pesky Warlock slow. He finally has to turn tail and run, but Envy, he's done his damage. There's a Becky from XXS. There is no follow-up. Now he's the one in trouble. Chained out, Envy, staggering retreat. Kaboka still engaging. Yet. Good crush and pie, a much easier kill. That's what IG needed. Perhaps what the doctor ordered, but they've got to get a bit more. The stone gates from Envy. Purely zoning tactics, but IGN couldn't give it up this easy. They need this kill, and they need it bad. NP on the precipice, but can they close it out? The Static Storm gets dropped, and NP gonna walk into it. He doesn't care. He's a big, bad man. He'll bring them down. Sven, though, looking to turn the tides. The Aegis now gonna be committed, and Envy re-engaging onto Burning, cutting him, controlling him. That Sven doesn't have buyback. Could be out of the game for a long time, and Burning will drop. Quelch. And now looking for a bit more. They'll bring down the Slardar. And NP, close. And they're just about there, Lumi. It's only the tier fours, the throw and all that remains. IG up against it, and they tap out. It's GG, NP have done it, showing that yesterday was not a fluke, but perhaps the start of something amazing.